We say Wait a minute. I turned down all our monitors before. Uh, oh. What's up, Otto? I want to say hi to Otto from Otto and George in studio. Thank you. Playing the comedy shop in Pine Brook, New Jersey, tonight and tomorrow night. JJComedy.com or call 866-552-6633. Extension 1. Extension 1. Yeah. Is that what it's? I guess. Makes it a little difficult. Go to OttoAndGeorge.com for all of Otto's dates. Thanks you for must. having me on, man. You guys have never said no to me. I, I appreciate that. No. That's because we're I don't scared have a of you. Sense of entitlement. No, we're, no. <laughs> we're scared of you. That's uh, why. Yeah. Yeah, you look like you could be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting hot in here. Isn't that your signal for what's? It used to be. Yeah, it used to be. Master Poe, right? Master Poe. How is he? Doing? We have a new signal. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Steve is gay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, then he comes running in. Whatever happened to line of the day? You guys We just brought it back. Just brought it back. Brought it Literally back. Right, two days good. ago. Cool. Anything we can do to shorten the actual live time of the program <laughs> so we can get the fuck out of here sooner. I don't know That's how you guys how we do roll. it. I don't know how you do it every oh, single day. Well, what, you... Line of the day, it's not hot. Uh, yeah. Put, yeah. I, got into a, uh, yeah. I got into a sleep habit that is the worst one I've ever been in. And it's, it's brand new. Never done this before. I go home. About noonish, I sleep. Last night, I woke up at nine o'clock at night. I slept from noon till nine at night. It's a good night's sleep. I got up. Night. I got oh. up. Stayed up, and fucking you know, four thirty in the morning, I get ready and I I came in. So I haven't been asleep since nine o'clock last night. Oh, so you this is yeah, like the that's evening. Right. That's very cool. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, but I don't like it because yeah. I, I miss the whole day. Like now, I don't want to do that when I get home because it's Friday. I want to hang out. I want the entire Friday. Well, that's where you blew it. You should try to get back into some kind of normalcy for the weekend for yourself. Yeah, what I got to do is now you're going to have to sleep till at least, what, four or five. Start drinking immediately when I get home. Holy shit. That'll work. Because then it'll reset the clock. Danny knows. That's fucked up. So I'll I'll be be having some Guinness, Uh and then uh, I'll reset the clock. Well, I'll go home and sleep, and then do a show, and then sleep a little bit. Then, you know. Yeah, I can't. I have an afternoon nap. I just go on stage, for, just sleepy. <laughs> sleepy. For a while, <laughs> for a while though, I was going home noon, sleep until like three or four, and then I'd stay up until like maybe midnight or one in the morning, go to sleep and catch like a few hours. But it, it just kept turning a little more and more. Yeah. Each time I'd sleep later and stay up later until just yesterday, I think it was the first time I went like, I didn't even fucking go to sleep. Do you still keep those hours in the weekend? No, the weekend really gets fucked because I don't. I sleep. I don't get up for work, so I could, I would never get up early on you a don't weekend. S- you don't sleep I on weekends. I fucking you sleep. Know, you pass out on weekends. Doesn't, doesn't out your body weekend. clock still make you go to sleep in the middle of the day and you still wake up early? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what you're used to. I'm uh, up by seven every fucking Saturday and Sunday morning, uh, and that's sleeping uh, in. That's I sleeping sleep in. So I, I am noon. A I'll wake body up at clock. noon, and then I'll lay in bed and watch fucking crime shows. Yeah, like fucking first 48 and forensic wake, files until 3 in the afternoon. I wake up early if I Bed get really sores. drunk the night before. <laughs> like, the hangover wakes me up. I hate that, too. It's like, could I please sleep? Yeah. I've been laying in bed with a headache <clears throat> just going, please go back to sleep. Please go back to Can't sleep. Can't force yourself to sleep. It doesn't work. It sucks with a hangover. Your head's pounding. Because sleeping through a hangover oh. is great. Yeah. You're like, oh, because if you're able to wake up early in the morning and go, oh, my God, I feel like shit, and you fall asleep, you wake up, like, hours later and go, all right, I'm ready for a beer. That's fucked yeah. up because I'm with nice. Jim Jeffries, man. Hangovers to wake me right the fuck up. They wake and, me up. And, and, but I don't want to wake up. It does that to me, too. I, I can't sleep. I also and and Otto's right, too. You can't talk yourself into sleep because subconsciously nope. it fucks everything up. and nope. puts you in some kind of panic state. Next yeah. thing you know, you're staring at the ceiling even though you're dead tired. Uh, Otto, what horrible. do you think of the 9-11? We're up to eight years. Any thoughts today? Uh, I, I just remember having to work that weekend and how the audience just seemed to they needed some relief terribly and they felt like yeah i felt like i was really like uh doing something good for people it was people you can do some arab so jokes fucking, back then so in shock <laughs> back then yeah, yeah. um I, I was telling anthony i wanted to grab a rifle i, was I know no right it just pissed you off yeah very yeah. i can't watch that because right now there's on the one of the screens in here is uh, TV station playing the real time. Yeah, it's real time, like it's uh, happening right and now. And I look at it. And I don't it, think it, it is real time uh, because I've seen 
Well, I've seen the explosion twice. But it's 9.21 a.m. Oh. and then Yeah, it's no, it's, it's, nine, it's oh, in that, real time. That's real yeah. time. There were two planes. And it's that's so why annoying to watch. Jim Jeffries, <laughs> who doesn't give a shit about <laughs> no, our country. No, I do give a shit. <laughs> or, I just think if you watch or, this in real time, you can bake a cake. And <laughs> yeah. then, like, all right, when the building falls, then it'll yeah. be ready. I, oh, my God. That's so you know what? You know what? <laughs> like, you got to... You gotta have a laugh, of really. Course, of course. I'm, I'm not being nasty. I'm, I'm just fucking with you. I know you give a shit. Now we could see where the government agents were in there, uh, you know, and setting the explosives. Thermite paint. Thermite paint. I, oh, I that. think I see someone on the lower right hand uh, hole mm-hmm. from that. Uh, oh, that's got. Oh, is that awful. that stuff that get lavas up? Thermite paint Thermite is uh, paint. what yeah, Jesse yeah, Ventura like is talking about. But you know, he was a governor. That's terrific. And he thinks and he thinks the government brought down the we're, building. We're painting the a, walls with thermite oh, paint. It was a controlled implosion. detonation. Yeah, that implosion bullshit. Yeah, when, you, wa- when you watch them, because I've watched a lot of those shows on Discovery Channel and shit yeah. like that, and you see him go into these buildings and demolish them, uh, and they they have to rip the fucking building apart first. It's not like you just go in there with dynamite like fucking the coyote. Yeah, you, you got to drill the beams out. You got to cut the fucking metal eye beams and then put shape charges oh, for a perfect that implosion. slice yeah. through. Yeah, and <laughs> and they were like, well, you know, there were people working on the security system, and the, no, they're not running fucking concrete drills and and running primer cord through the so hallways. What is that theory? Is that there were no planes at all, or that what? I, they can Some, never explain no, what a, happened a with lot the planes. Of theories. Uh, What's the theory though? Stupid. Why would it be a controlled explosion? What happened to the planes? Where they yeah. come from? Dummies. Yeah. I hate those we fucking saw, idiots. What about the we saw buildings. the fucking planes hit the building. Yeah. yeah. What's that theory? I was telling Anthony, Shut up. you're a gatekeeper. You're not a truther. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're truthers. You're like Ugh. a gatekeeper. I was telling <laughs> that. Shut up with your conspiracy <laughs> talk, <laughs> you fucking cunt. Is that what people say? Gatekeeper. Yeah. 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 All right. Just be another one of the gatekeepers. Like we're keeping, <laughs> the, we're keeping the secrets in <laughs> and keeping you I out. I am the key marsh. They're the truthers. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. It's not World of Warcraft, you dummy. Go back in your basement and fuck your mother. I was telling Anthony, eight years, the Technology's gotten way better. We all remember when the, the the video hit of the first plane hit, and we're like, "Holy shit!" Someone actually captured that on film. Yeah, That's insane. Yeah. And the angle and the footage was horrendous. And I'm like, now, and if this, God forbid, this happened again, you'd have a thousand oh. angles of of the plane That's hitting views because we all have iPhones. our fucking iPhones and Everybody Blackberries. Got the and, second one, it's dude. True. Look, I yeah. twittered the plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a yeah. twitter. <laughs> yeah, <but>. fucking idiots. <laughs> uh, there would have been people on the plane with internet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, twittering. Yeah, twittering. You'd end up liking, uh, like Eric trying to yeah. capture every little er- horrific detail. Exactly. Like, oh, don't bring that up again, please. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> please don't bring that up. Eric's the worst. <laughs> well, not not I got to tell Otto, e uh, uh when the plane hit the helicopter over the Hudson River, yeah. it's happened kind of where e lives. So he ran down to the shoreline or whatever. Horrible. And he started like taking pictures and, and tweeting like crazy. Like he was the, he was the guy mm-hmm. to go to. And his pictures were horrendous. You couldn't see shit. No. But he was so excited that he was. But know, the way he being labeled them too. That oh, day. It's okay. nice to have opportunities, isn't it? Yeah. The way he labeled his twitters too, his tweets. Ugh. He said like, uh, uh, he, another body being pulled from the water. So you'd look at that and go, "Holy fuck!" I gotta click you on this. Click on the link, and it may as well have been like you're looking out a mile into the ocean really? and seeing a little dot that was a boat, and <laughs> see, you can't see shit. That's Otis Redding. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're pulling another body from the water. Are they, Iraq? <laughs> God damn, Jesus, nothing. Man, what a <laughs> shitty day to be reading names, huh? Oh my God, uh, yeah, the rainy and really cold. The type really of rain that nasty. goes sideways. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was saying before. You can say what you want about 2001, but the weather was nice. Oh, that was a lovely. It was a lovely, lovely day, day, wasn't it? You know, uh, nice and clear. Uh, someone uh, turned us on to something Rosanna Scotto said about th- that uh, particular day. I want to play it. it Rosanna is... Scotto, one of the uh, news women. Yeah, here in New York, in and New York. I think she had Bloomberg on with her. So I think you're going to hear Bloomberg's response to what she said. Listen to this. We were talking earlier that 9-11-2001 was the most spectacular day ever. And since then, I can't remember a 9-11 that was, that even came halfway close to that day. Well, the weather. Oops. Maybe you shouldn't have put it that way. What a fantastic day it was. (laughs) She She didn't even mention the weather. No. She just went, yeah. what a great day it was. What a spectacular, a spectacular day. day. Like she was hoping for another tragedy to fall yeah. on 9-11. That's I, what I got out of it. You know what I remember about 9-11? Not having to go to work. Right. <laughs> you know, everyone had a what day a, off. What an amazing, spectacular, wonderful day it was. Uh, oh, know, the fucking weather. Shit, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. <laughs> we, know, we had some sunny, clear days on 9-11 since. I know. She's an idiot. Since. 
You know, it's, it's cool just, about it. It's just you remember that day because of what happened. You guys, in, in Australia, it was you like 10 were... o'clock at night. So it was mm. just, it was like really good viewing. Cause, you know, How'd that work? I didn't have to wake up for it. it was <laughs> you just guys off. were broadcasting <laughs> when that happened? Well, we did afternoons oh, yeah. then. So they, they were like, get your asses in. We're like, uh, uh, well, they've closed the tunnels and the subway How, and the trains. We don't, And they guys have a studio on Long Island. And we met Sean Hattie. Did you try and day. do a funny show? Or Hell, oh, fuck. No, that was impossible. Right. We just we Buildings. pretty much had a TV on and we were taking calls from people that were freaking out. We were right. like, "Holy shit, what's going yeah. on?" You know. So <laughs> what, no, this build- must have been back in the day. Go, and what's the phrase that pays? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we never uh, did the phrase gonna, that pays. We're gonna we're gonna stop, um, <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're Anthony Rock. That's right. I mean, the phrase did, that pays. We did some <laughs> hacky things, but we never never did the phrase that pays. Oh my <laughs> god! A uh, plane just hit the other building, and um, hey, remember it's Budweiser night tomorrow. <laughs> we're gonna be uh, all day long. No, <laughs> no. no. No, when we were broadcasting, buildings were still falling down. Oh, I think number tough. seven fell down while we were. Remember oh, that? Was it? Yeah, oh, we, right. we saw people running. Right in the stuff. middle of us trying to trying to be experts on 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 Muslim terrorism. Yeah, we didn't. Have oh, we all fucking... became experts on, in one day. On the yeah. day, were you already up to date on the whole? Hell, I've... fucking no. I I've been out to Iraq and Afghanistan and done gigs, and I've. This is what soldiers have told me. They reckon that there's not a chance in hell that he's still alive. Bin Laden, yeah. Yeah, oh. they reckon they've bombed the hell out of those mountains all around. They know where he would have been hiding. Yeah. And they reckon they've found no less than nine dialysis machines. Really? And, really? and, he, and he, he was on dialysis. Now, how Just many... Just leaves a trail of dialysis <laughs> machines yeah. wherever right? he goes. How many... He's got to be running out of dialysis machines. Yeah. Hmm. And if you want to find him, find the company that sends the dialysis machines and just follow that little bit of transport. You know what, though? He that, uh, that occasionally does... sends those tapes, though. No, but... Although yeah. he hasn't no, no. sent one they, since... They uh, never... They, they never the while. tapes are never... Yeah. They, they might already have the tapes sitting there. No, but they're sometimes just... he's referenced stuff that has happened what, recently. What, can Arabic or... No. Uh, <laughs> it's, it <laughs> might be a loose a translation. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> a loose translation uh, there. <laughs> he always um, looks like Scotty well, Pippen. I don't fucking... I don't, <laughs> don't you think he looks like Scotty Pippen with a beard? I'm not from Australia, but I, I was able to find out what a zebra meant when you said it, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> that's, a, that's pretty good, Scotty Pippen. Scotty hmm. Pippen, the Chicago Bulls. Oh shit, he does. <laughs> he, he put, yeah. Oh damn, oh my God. it's fucking he Midland. Does. We He's found Scottie him. Scotty Pippen without yeah. the yeah. Look, I know retirement was tough on Scotty Pippen, but he didn't have to do all this. That's, a, that's that whole thing that the Arsenal Football Club, which is one of the big soccer teams of the Premier League, right. Right, Arsenal. Mm-hmm. Um, Bin Laden, I think he went to university <laughs> or something. Was he was a fan of Arsenal, and Arsenal said this. They go, uh, "Well, he's banned from the ground after 9-11. <laughs> wow! And it's like, don't ban him. Give him a season pass. See if he'll fucking show up. Yeah, maybe he'll show up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ban him from. Yeah, yeah it, wow, we're do, banning him. Do a bobblehead night and see if he shows up I, for his bobblehead night. I tell you what, <laughs> did I call that? <laughs> oh no, that's a good call. He does fucking look that like him. Holy good. shit! A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. It's outrageous. Yeah, a little the two bit. of them. Yeah. And, I, you know, it, it doesn't give us peace of mind that he might be dead there, Jim Jeffries. We need, like, proof. Well, I, no, I, but that's, that's I think just, a lot of people need proof. That's just what the soldiers told me. They think. They think. How that close were you to the mountains in Afghanistan? You went to Afghanistan? I've been to Afghanistan a couple of times. Yeah, I've um, I've been right. Camp Bastion is where I normally do the gigs. And I go right in there and. Kick some ass? They give me guns. I, they let me play. This is what happened to me, right? They let you play. I've got. If we go to YouTube, I can find, I can show you footage of me playing with plastic explosives in Afghanistan. Fucking right. Right. Mm. But they sometimes take it off. And I, what happened was they just let us play with guns and stuff like that. And then I'm molding, right? This like plastic explosive, and then I videotape it. I'm like, yeah. You know, when you come back from the airport, they take the little swab of your laptop or you. Oh uh, shit! Right. Yeah, I've right. got a fucking video camera. I've, I'm just left Afghanistan. Yeah. Right? I'm at the airport. Where did you come from? Afghanistan. Why is there fucking bomb dust all <laughs> yeah, through all, all your shit? C4 shit. shit all over it. Right? And so I'm like, oh, and I'm sat in this room. I was playing and with And then I've, I've gone to oh, him. So I've they gone, really grilled you? Like yeah. Hard? yeah. And then I said, play, play the video camera. Yeah. Play the video camera. You'll see what I was doing. You'll see that I was with soldiers. The oh. guy literally presses play like like it's gonna like oh it's gonna like explode. he's cutting the red wire. <laughs> oh, just <shit>. just, <laughs> uh, 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 oh, just pictures of me joking around. Oh, fuck. <laughs> if you put in Afghanistan, Jim Jeffries, yeah, that's uh, what Danny put in. Is is it uh, anything probably, good? It gets taken down every now and then. 
Oh, they just don't want that. Yeah, people, because we weren't meant to be playing with guns and shit. They also let us play with the the dogs, like that would uh, chase you in the outfits and all that. Oh, really? You got in the big puffy. You can do outfits. that all day. That's yeah, one of the like, funnest things you'll ever isn't do. Isn't that the best way to play with a dog? Oh, you can punch <laughs> the dog. The dog can run at you. You, you, you think I can take this guy? Punch <laughs> it in the head. You might be onto something with the Scotty Pippen thing. Colorado Brandon writes, "Oh, Scotty Ben Pippen." <laughs> oh, sounds just like it. Oh, we got to get the rest of this Rosanna Scotto clip on too. All oh, right. We were talking earlier that 9/11/2001 was the most spectacular yes, day ever, was. and since then I can't remember a 9/11 that was one where we that didn't get attacked. Close to that day. <laughs> well, the weather certainly is not, but there's also, in a more serious note, there has never been a 9-11 since then like that. 3,000 lives, a wake-up call to America that we aren't as separate from the rest of the world as I think we thought we were, and that we have to uh, continue to fight around the world to keep our freedoms. And we see our young men and women doing that and sadly dying doing it. Well, Bloomberg yeah, kind of put her in her place there. Shut right? her the fuck Rosanna up, Scotto. right? Yeah, yeah. Listen here, bitch. <laughs> you uh, sound like an idiot. We got Otto from Otto and George in studio playing comedy shop in uh, Pinebrook, New Jersey tonight and With tomorrow. Yes. Reverend Bob Levy, you know that guy. Oh, right? of course. He's, he's starting to do our show a little bit. A little bit. He is? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. a little, little bit here and there. Rich, what's up? Hey. hey. I just hey, want bitch. to say thanks to Otto and George. I saw him down in Hampton Beach. Uh, about a month ago, and uh, since then I can't call black people black people. I gotta call them guilties. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, thanks. I think I remember that dude. Yeah, it was me and my wife were over in the corner. You all right? Like, okay, how are you? <laughs> me and my wife. Yeah. Are, George, George, George is there? very racist. Yeah. George I, is very racist I have to and say, intolerant. But before I ever did a gig in America, when I did uh, I did Montreal just for last, and, I, and me and. Uh, and me and Otto uh, worked together on the Nasty Show. And I, I have to say that Otto and George is one of my favorite acts in the entire world. Yeah, I'm not just saying that to suck up. Nothing lot, makes lot, me lot laugh more than that lo- puppet, lo- man. I love Otto and George. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Really funny, man. Comics comics are jaded. They, you know, <laughs> it's true. Like they they really don't. Make a comic. They yeah, never like yeah, anything. Hard. Yeah. yeah. Bunch of insecure cunts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, re- I remember, I can't remember who it was at the time, but the heavyweight champion of the world. That's like, you know, there's like 10 of them. At any given stage, yeah, yeah, right? depending on what. One yeah. of the heavyweight champions of the world was in the front row of at the Nasty Show, and George is just there going, "What you got? You got uh, tattoos on there? What are you using uh, black on black for, you circus ape?" <laughs> Holy <laughs> like shit! That. Was he it was, a heavyweight? It was oh, the God. heavyweight champion Somebody. of the world, and the puppet was being racist towards him. And I was wow. going, "Wow, you yeah. fucking kidding me?" That's <laughs> and in the end, the guy clapped, and there was like, "All oh, right, the puppet got away with it." Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that, you get away with a lot of shit with that puppet. Yeah, yeah that's true. Ooh. Or a Larry King voice. I got yeah. a, I got a mate. Yeah. Bri- I got a mate in Britain who's a ventriloquist, and, he, and the guy came up to him after the gig and goes, "Oi, you, you tell that puppet of yours to watch his fucking mouth." <laughs> oi, oi. <laughs> Let's say hi to Richie in Arizona. Richie. Yeah. Hey. Um, listen, I've been in dialysis for seventeen years. And there ain't no way this guy is dialyzing in a cave. It takes special equipment, special water treatment. This guy is not dialyzing in any cave. They haven't got him. There's no possible way. They, they, the they, these aren't, these aren't the like just cave holes. They're actual concreted rooms that they're in. They're not, uh, when they say they, fi- they find, th- there's a whole infrastructure through those mountains that isn't, isn't, it's not what you think. It's not like the yeah, Flintstones. You, yeah. you ever watch Cities of the Underworld? This yeah. has been done over the ages of just. I've watched Cities of the Underworld. And pretty amazing where they make a whole community under a mountain. He, he's got or, enough money to have anything built. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's a billionaire. Yeah. He needs to have a water supply, a reverse osmosis system, a special filtration system. And then all the equipment that goes on the machine, there's special dialyzers, which is an artificial kidney. Right. There's no way this dude's doing I mean, if, if he's doing all this, like, like Jim said, trace that shit because that dude could be found easy. There's only about five companies in the world that make this shit. Yeah. And it would be fi- easy to find <laughs> out who's supplying the shit to him. I'm going to say it right now. Um, the dialysis people cause 9-11. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm putting it out there. See, you know I'm, something? I'm putting it out there. These <laughs> companies that allegedly help people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I'm not taking well, it back. We... You can quote me. <laughs> if his kidneys would have failed, it never would have happened. Fuckers. <laughs> 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 really. Medical attention. And what do you. If he, 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 he had like... that much fucking money, he would have got a kidney already. 
Yeah, that's one thing. Like, you know. But there's could... probably something in the Muslim faith. Right, it probably is. I mean, you know, this is not a pork I kidney. Don't know. I, kidney I, isn't made of I'm pork. Not, I'm not up on my religion. Yeah, really. I think there's something in the Muslim religion. You can't have a kidney. You know, uh, <laughs> something about it. I don't know. Richie's, Richie's definitely on to something. You, you don't think someone in his entourage was a perfect fit for fucking giving up a kidney? For I know, right? Osama bin Laden? Get his brother Pippin to do it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Pippin's got two I mean, kidneys. Keep whacking people until they throw in a kidney that, that works. One that, of the guys that's going to be a suicide bomber the next day. You go, right. excuse me, dude. Can Before I have a you kidney? go, I got the yeah, right. Shit. Yeah, that's, that's what I always found we, weird that's... about 9-11 was that some of them were sitting in first class. No, some of them were sitting in economy. Why wouldn't all of them be in first class? Yeah, you think of... <laughs> what are you saving your money for? I think you're, you're, in, yeah. Enjoy a movie. Have yeah. a nice meal. What are you fucking around for? In like... Well, they if, wanted, if, you get a, if you get a window seat, you can't even get up to hijack. They want to take yeah, over true. the entire plane and make sure people were controlled in the back uh, and in the middle and in the front. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <Of course. laughs> they had it all figured out there. My God, man. <laughs> <laughs> this Jim Jeffries doesn't appreciate the... Uh, I don't know where, where, speaking I don't where the effect this the has had on our country. Where do you plug in a fucking dialysis machine in a mountain? Same place you charge your phone. Where? I don't know. I have no idea. What is it, running off an old Ford? No, no, there's generators. And oh, stuff. generators. Yeah, he's probably oh, got man. James Bond type of caves with everything you You think you that, need like a, the yeah. Bat Cave it's or something right. like it's that? A, it's a petrol run yeah. dialysis <laughs> machine. And you can say what you want about the Arabs, and they've got fuckloads of petrol. It's just you dump oil in there. <laughs> Well, <laughs> filtering your kidneys with an internal combustion engine. If they could give Australia electricity, they could get electricity in a cave. Exactly. Uh, true. I don't yeah. know exactly. how the fuck you guys got electricity being the only thing around. That's we, weird. We've to water, me. water generated stuff. Yeah. Hmm. How did you get electricity? With the, we're, you, we're connected to oh, the land masses. You invented it. We're That's able right. to figure we it did. all out. Hey, fucking Menlo Park, my friend. Hmm. Well, that's right. Well, Thomas Alva Edison. Is he the cunt who fucking yeah, stole the whole telephone? Someone stole the telephone. No, nah, no. Nah, Alexander Graham Bell stole the uh, telephone from Ooh. some uh, other guy. Mayuchi. Who was like, yeah, he was going to patent it like some at the same yeah. time. And they pretty much had a foot race to the patent office. <laughs> Is that true, Otto? Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I heard that on The were, Sopranos. That's where I get it. They were probably at the door yeah. like pulling each other back. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's never the Simpsons where they make a joke. About I'm, I'm team Tesla. Myself. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm Who, Team Tesla. Who's Tesla? All the, Tesla's invented everything. Tesla oh, and Edison had a little battle deserved. back then, too. Mm. Yeah. That was like the early days. It was like the rap wars of inventing. That's right. Back mm. then, they used to just go at each other. My dad thought he, he invented the mixtape. <laughs> <Really? laughs> My dad came to, me, he came to me with this idea. He, said, he went to me, he goes... I've got an idea, right? What you do is, everyone has like albums that have just a complete band on it. What you should do is get an album and have different songs from different bands. It's crazy. Right? <laughs> and I go, Dad, that's a combination album. He goes, yeah, but not with the songs that I like. <laughs> oh, well, Jesus. oh, so that's the mix. Because I was going to say, it sounded like he was pitching a k kind of thing. Yeah, but he thought he hmm. did. He thought, oh, I'm going to fucking market this. You don't put shit songs together. Put all good songs. There you go. Make that. Songs I like. What yeah. kind of songs is your dad my, like? My dad's a big... I, I saw John Denver no less than John five times Denver. live yeah, as a child. Oh, wow. Damn. Do you enjoy... I have a fondness for him because it reminds me of my childhood, but what no. What song? What song was yours? Oh, I liked a bit of, uh, uh, well, you like Colorado, Rocky Mountain High. <laughs> Leaving on a jet plane, <laughs> that's about... Uh, uh, oh, he didn't uh, like that one. <laughs> I <laughs> could no. though I sing to your spirit, <laughs> the man who have served you so long and yeah. so forth. That oh, one's a that good one. one, right, right, right. The Calypso, yeah. Do you, know, do you know that Country Roads is the most known song in the English language next to Happy Birthday? Because the, the, the Japs love karaoke, and it's the number one karaoke song. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. That's the number one ca- Which karaoke song That's the number one karaoke song in the world. People, Damn, people love why that one? Oh, I thought it was I Will Survive. Oh, no, yeah. it's, it's, it's country from, Roads. People love country that. Country Roads? Yeah, people love that. Take me home <laughs> to the play. <laughs> I've been wrong. It's nothing Wait, funnier. Virginia. Nothing funnier than watching an Asian guy do American songs at karaoke. Yeah, yeah. They're so serious. Oh. West Virginia. Boo-Witch <laughs> Mountain. Carl- Shenandoah <laughs> River. The mule train. Oh, and then... Oh, I'm so older than the tree, younger than the Everybody. mountain, older like a breeze. Country roads, take me home. I got a toodle. 
Wesh Fodinho <laughs> Wait for the toodly doos. The best part. Can we have a toodle of the day? Yeah. Here, here he goes. Toodly toodly do. Toodly toodly do. What the fuck was he doing? Uh, He's in uh, uh, one of those experimental planes when he, he uh, suffered from an depression. And he, <laughs> <laughs> and he ran out of fucking gas, they think. No, he just, he just fucking no. plowed it into the ocean, hey, that guy. This no, guy. I heard uh, he f- had a fucked up thing with this fuel switching handle was behind his back. Right. And he had to switch the tanks in, in each wing, and he couldn't get to the fucking fuel switching handle behind him and ran out of fucking gas. Why can- With half a tank of gas left, he ran out of gas. Why, could, why couldn't that happen automatically, though, switching the tanks over? Because there was, why, it was, it was a kit plane. plane. A little yeah, kit plane, yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. Little thing. I don't yeah. want to have to do, like pull a lever to make sure the yeah. fuel is now really. being taken from another tank yeah. while I, I'm up I, in the air. I read his biography, right? And why would you do that? I, 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 it was, you it was, are it was a fan. And it's called Country Roads Take Me Home. Home, the John oh, Devers. Of course it the is. good thing was about him was he sang all these love songs like any song and all that type of stuff. But he was it, it. It says in the book like he alludes to being a wife beater. Like he just. He doesn't want to go all in, in but he's like, uh, hits. sometimes I lost my temper and there were bruises. <laughs> you know? There was there was one wow. time his first wife said, "I'm taking half." You know when they were getting divorced, then drove off. She came back to him sitting on a pile of half of all the furniture. He cut every bit of cunning oh, furniture up shit. with a chainsaw. Hmm. The lovely John Denver just sitting there in a psychotic mood, just <laughs> through just the get couch. Get on the car. Get in the car and get on the country road, you <laughs> fucking bitch. Just drinking like a belter in the eye. <laughs> Let's. Let's go to Brian in Maryland. His his father's better better than your father, Jim. Oh, oh shit! It wouldn't be hard. Huh? Hmm. We'll s- <laughs> I'm not going to stick up for my dad. Brian, what do you got on your dad? <laughs> my dad is in a John Denver tribute band. Holy wow! Wait, wait, wait! wait. Shit. A cool. band? Isn't it just one guy? Isn't he yeah. a tribute it's act? A full band. Hmm. It's he- a full band, and they get together every year in October on the anniversary of his death. And people come from all over the world, and they cry, and they have memorials. And wait, they, wait, is, they, he the, is he the guy? Is he like the John Denver guy? He is one of them, yes. He sings three or four of the songs, and a couple other guys sing three or four Wait, then the they songs. bring out another John Denver? <laughs> There's different oh, generations yeah. of John Denver. Oh. Do they share the same wig to look like John Denver? Oh, no, they put a, <laughs> they put a guitar on stage that's just remembering him. And, uh, and then the last one's called <laughs> Kit Plain Allen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a competing John Denver band that they that they rival with to get this one stage every year. Ever so fight? Big, knife yeah, fight. Yeah, there's a rivalry. John, John Denver, Denver knife fight. Nice. They all look like <laughs> John Denver. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, motherfucker. <laughs> it's the Sharks and the Jets. Yeah. <laughs> and anybody country, country, country roads. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> what, Brian? Anybody from Aspen will tell you that he was a well-known partier back yeah. in the day. Got multiple DUIs. Yeah, he got done drink corporate. driving several times, didn't he? Mm. Yeah. Him and but, Billy uh, Joel. Oh, right. I remember him uh, getting DUEs. So, yeah. like, you know, you know, Brother Joe doing a U2 tribute band, I can understand, but the, the, the John Denver tribute band. What's the name of the uh, band? Um, actually, I think they just call it a tribute to John Denver. No, they, they, should, they should call it John mm. Bender. Because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you can find it on YouTube and shit like that, which is pretty funny when you find these uh, tribute band uh, guys and stuff, and they totally are into it, like Neil Diamond, and the guy thinks oh, yeah. he's fucking oh. Neil Diamond and shit. Oh, yeah, 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 oh and yeah. it's just embarrassing to watch. It's like the that guy, the guy who did Michael him. Jackson, and then he just kept on changing his face to fucking move <laughs> he along. Had a fight. Yeah, he had, a, he had to keep fucking up his face to, yeah. Uh, stick with that. Tim, what do you got? Uh, I think I saw a couple of years ago uh, up in North Jersey, and there was a black broad in the front row, and she had blonde hair. And she pretty much made a comment saying that it was like putting whipped cream on dog shit. Is this John and Denver? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Wow, he really was a part of <laughs> mean he, he got a little crazy. <laughs> That's pretty brave on John Denver's part. <laughs> <laughs> now, everyone, now everyone, thank God I'm a country boy. <laughs> you know what? With, with statements like that, he should have died. The world doesn't need him. <laughs> no, it was Otto, right? He was fucking huge yeah. in the 70s. Yeah. Denver was huge. Oh, my God. Huger than fucking... He had a what, few what, hits. what star was like bigger than Dolly him back Parton, then? Maybe I don't yeah. know. 
He, um, huge. I used to love him on the Fiji's. Muppet Show, man. He really? was great in the Muppet Show. Just Muppet Show was very old. Are you? Right? <laughs> are you a kid? Hmm. I love the Muppet Show. Did you? My favorite Muppet Show story is the one that, that Richard Pryor couldn't go on it because he was free basting. And he'd been drinking, <laughs> he'd been drinking vodka, and then he spilt all over his shirt. He's free roasting, like some coke rock falls off into his chest and burns eighty percent of his body. And that's the reason he didn't do the Muppet Show. And that's the only episode not to have a celebrity on it. <laughs> oh, he was booked trivia. to do it. He was booked to do the Muppet Show the next day no after shit. he got all those burns. I never knew that. Uh, okay, let me say hi to Megan in West Virginia. Megan, Mountain man. Mama. <laughs> Megan, Hi. Megan, what's up, Megan? Uh, I traveled across Europe, uh, same year 9/11, Amsterdam, Brussels, Prague, Czech Republic, Germany. Everywhere I went, when I would say I was from West Virginia, I didn't even have to explain it because that fucking song is so popular. It's not just the oh, West Virginia, the world's best song, really mountain really mama. Mm-hmm. Take me yeah. home. I have a mountain mama tattoo. Is that right next to Titty Mountain Highway? <laughs> oh God, I like Colorado Rocky Mountain High. It was, it was just like yeah. it's a song about him sitting around a fireplace getting stoned, and old people love it. You know. Well, let's take a listen to that. You got that, Travis? Uh, no, I don't. Actually. Folks around <laughs> the campfire, and everyone it's, it's is showing. high. Uh. And when I, was in, when I was in Denver and they said I was in the Rocky Mountains, I did feel, I called me dad and went, oh, I'm sitting in a plane that doesn't fly. <laughs> 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 Anthony Larry <laughs> King. I'm screaming he, he, as a plumber. Yeah. He loved the Australia. Sky. He wrote a song about Australia. He married his second wife was Australian. Really? So I, don't, I, I feel bad about all this information I know about John Denver. You really know a lot about that guy. Yeah, a little really too did. much. They, they never found his corpse either, right? Really? They, yeah, I think it was just disintegrated. Wow. Well, yeah. It became fish food probably, yeah. right? Uh, he landed in the ocean. Yeah. Uh, Larry King checking in, Anthony. Larry. Oh, what's Larry one? <laughs> uh, since you were unable to switch fuel tanks in flight. What was the first thing that went through your mind when you hit the ground? To linger longer. <laughs> His <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Gag. <laughs> uh, what is this now? Dave in West Virginia. Dave? Hey, this is Dave. Actually from upstate New York. Uh, I grew up in West Virginia. All right. Uh, and up there in West Virginia, or down there in West Virginia, John Denver is really popular. All right. I mean, he is like the king. No shit. Down there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and the other thing I was going to tell you is just just coming back from Iraq, uh, that song that he's got, uh, Readjustment Blues, uh, I really identify with that song. Okay. Uh, I can really identify with it. So, really? Uh, I don't know if you've ever listened to it or not. Why, why could? Why do you identify with that song? I know the readjusting blues. Well, because okay. he's got to readjust because he's coming back. From yeah, Iraq. he's coming back okay, from Iraq. Gotcha. He's got to yeah. get a job, and the economy's not good. Jeez, oh, yeah. Opie, you oh, care oh, about this no country. Job, <laughs> 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 Touche, my friend. Uh, thank you, Dave. It's hard to like you know just get a job at McDonald's <laughs> after you've been shooting people too. It's kind of got to well, readjust. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sh- I, 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 I hope he calls back. Yeah, and I talk about how these guys are over there in these crazy tanks and shit, just blowing up stuff, and then they come back. And they now have to drive a minivan or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah it's like okay, I'm and just follow the rules of the, they, they reckon, of the they, they, road it's, and it's, all that. It's, it's like over fifty percent of all homeless are ex-military or yeah. something. It's, I don't know the exact statistic. It might even be higher than that. And this whole idea: are you strong or are you army strong? It's fuck it, it fucks people up that job, man. Yeah, no shit. Fuck Especially if you're in like, battle, yeah. you're killing people. You're yeah. like you're told your entire life that's bad. That is a bad thing. You don't kill people, yeah. and then they go here. Kill people, right. but only during this period of time and only here. The same you can, age once as you go your home, children, yeah, basically. Yeah. And then once you yeah. go home, you got to stop killing. But now you can't <laughs> ever kill anyone again. Yeah, yeah. and if you get into a bar like, fight, don't hurt that guy. Yeah, you don't can't hurt him. kill him. No, 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 yeah. no. It's like, oh, it's such a weird thing. It's like, I, all right, kill what, as right. many of them as you can. These little villages, no, these little <laughs> villages they make out in, in the middle of nowhere. There was one, I think it was Afghanistan. It might have been Iraq. I, I think it was Afghanistan. It, um, it had like an ice hockey rink in it. Really? It had a fucking Burger King, a Subway, and a oh, Pizza Hut. I, I've seen, yeah, I've seen uh, and they films walk, of those. Yeah. They're quite And they nice. walk around, they're there, yeah, and then all of a sudden mortars will start but, flying in on yeah, them. Yeah, but no, t- I, I had, uh, I, the first time I went to Afghanistan, they, they teach you the, the duck and roll. You walk around with your vest on the whole time, and they give you the helmet, and they go, if you hear the siren, 
put your put your helmet on and duck and cover. Get under the bed, put your hands above your head, and then that's what you do and hope the ceiling doesn't fall in, Ooh. right? Mm-hmm. And so I'm there on the first date. I'm just playing like my uh, my PSP, just playing video games, right? I hear, eh, eh, eh. I fucking, all the soldiers are watching, but I'm like speed man, and I fucking duck, roll, under helmet. And then I hear, can Steve please come to the office? Can <laughs> Steve? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> all, all these cops, all these soldiers are like, well done, mate. Well done. <laughs> the, the, when you first get there, they fly over the, uh, you fly over Baghdad. And what happens is they've got like these uh, the little wings of the airplane. When you get over the danger area, they shoot flares out from the little wings. And yeah. then the helicopter goes, <laughs> like from side to side. Now, the reason for that is if a heat-seeking missile comes, it'll be distracted by the flares and the helicopter will fly out of range. But no one told me this was going to happen. As far as I'm concerned, the wings had just exploded and we were all plummeting to our death, right? (laughs) And I start screaming, we're going down. And they're, like, so happy because they've been waiting for this joke all day. Like, that's oh, like, man, what a gag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this guy thinks he's dying. This is going to be really funny. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Fucking lunatics. They, they, and they, lunatics. They, give you, they give you when you get off there. Everyone's got, like, a camouflage bulletproof vest and helmet, and my one's blue, right? And I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck's mine blue? And they're like, oh, that's so... That's so the enemy know that you're a civilian. I'm like, does the enemy give a shit? They don't care. Because like, every time I got off the helicopter, I was surrounded by soldiers with guns protecting me. And if I was a sniper, I'd be like, geez, that cut in blue looks important. He's got to be an important <laughs> guy, right? Exactly. Yeah. Let's, let's go to John and Savannah. John. <clears throat> I just shot Jim Jeffries. That's all proud of himself. That'd be good for my career. John. Hey, guys, didn't hey. anyone else find it weird that uh, Jim Jeffrey has a lot more compassion for John Denver and his death than the victims of 9-11? Well, I did not uh, that is not a little bizarre. have that. Like, That's a little bizarre. Can I please say that you I know, have Jim, compassion? You know, Jim, it's back to you uh, Yeah, now. yeah, actually. Uh, <laughs> it's back yeah, to you. Yeah, well, at least he didn't fly the plane into the building, did he? He no, just went he into the ocean. He didn't hurt anybody. You know how many fish you probably I, I was not making fun of 9-11. When did I say it was uh, a good thing? No, or, no. No. Not much compassion. We weren't saying that. That's what we've just noticed a, le- today. a little less <laughs> compassion than for a, a fucking faggy country singer. <laughs> hey, let's say hi to Stryker. 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 Good morning, boys. Hey, they, uh, you're, talking, you're talking about that Colorado Rocky Mountain High song. A couple years ago, uh, the state legislature here in Colorado wanted to make that the state song, and everybody was saying, "How can you make a song about drugs the state song?" Yeah a huge controversy about it. they finally they kind of like adopted a different version of it but it was it was hilarious when they were going through this and yeah if you talk to people up in uh, up there in the aspen area john denver was not exactly the nicest person on the face of the planet he had a yeah. bit of a temper he was a bit of a drinker uh he uh you know just like billy joel likes to wreck his cars uh yeah john denver did that several times too uh, drove, drove off road through people's uh, hedges and whatnot. Mm. Remember, uh, remember pink houses. Uh, John Cougar, Mellencamp. There ain't that America for you and me. Yeah. Uh, Reagan uh, mm. wanted to use that as his uh, campaign song. Yeah, until it came out, and, it was about. Uh, I think it was Reagan, or, or yeah, it could have been. Do you, do you live in a pink know, house? And, but, they, know, but the ain't that America part? Because it's uh, like yeah, small course. town kind of values. And stuff, until they told him, this is no, this is an anti-government fucking kind yeah. of. A, Oh, yeah. I remember that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know Scotland, they signed a petition, they almost got it through to have the proclaimers, I would walk 100 miles or whatever, <laughs> oh, as God. their national anthem. People were trying to get it through because it's the only song uh, that people know from Scotland. It's the only one, yeah. And, and they, they all like to sing it before football games. But it's, it says nothing about it means Scotland. Nothing. Yeah. It means nothing. No. Let's go back to the karaoke uh, discussion with this. Oh. What's this? Yeah, yeah. You know I love you, baby. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know that you've been waiting for me. I'm waiting too. In my generation, I've been all over you. I know you have the fever for me, 102. But I know that fear does send my temporary through. If there's a camera up here, then it's going to leave with me. He's crapping. I do. I do. <laughs> if there's a camera up here, then it's best that there's a flea on you too. You too. If you learn your mother, break up out of sick or on debut. Hip hop sing. I will hunt you down. Cause baby, I'm up in my beat. It's like a Wendy interview, but this is private. Between I touch my body, put me on the floor, lesson me around, play with some more. Touch my body, throw 
Throw me on the bed. That's fantastic. Throw me on the bed. Tuts. Tuts, Ma. Tuts. You pay my rices. Yeah. He rices. Yeah. Yeah, well. Yeah. Let's say hi to Sean. Sean's saying you got the song wrong about the Reagan thing, Ed. I don't know. Let's say. Sean. What? It might have been someone else, but wasn't it Born in the USA he wanted Born to Born in the USA is what he yeah. actually used. What? Okay. That's what no, he actually I used. Knew, I knew it was uh, Pink Houses. Uh, he didn't want to use it. And, and he, he, tried to, to. he tried to outlaw the Twisted Sister We're Not Gonna Take It song because he said it was yeah. bad for the youth. Really? And then... Reagan? Yeah, Reagan did, Get yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, he said that song was bad for the youth. And then no, someone like used it, Gore like John something. Kerry or something like that. Someone recently used it in their campaign. Really? Yeah, I, I remember stuff. I remember Reagan saying that, though. Well, wow, you read a yes. lot. I no, don't I like you. Twisted Sister. <laughs> <laughs> no. <Well. laughs> Want to take a break? He, he did say well a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> we'll take a break, and then we'll finish up with Jim Jeffries and Otto and George. You got Jim Jeffries at Caroline's tonight and yes. tomorrow and Sunday, 212-757-4100. And the great Otto from Otto and George. Absolutely. Did you bring in the puppet today, uh, Otto? I didn't. I, I'm That's going okay. two it's, hours sleep. It's one you of don't fucking... need the puppet. It's radio. You Just say the puppet's sticky. here. We yeah. would have believed you. Yeah. I know. No, he wants to do the thing. Yeah. Cock. I'll see. I'll, 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 <laughs> <laughs> cock, he just puts his hand up on it. Cock. Tonight and tomorrow, Otto, and I highly recommend you go see Otto and George. With Reverend Levy, another fucking lunatic. Yeah. The comedy shop in Pinebrook, New Jersey. You know what? You could go see Jeffries and then the next night see Otto and George or vice versa, whatever. Yeah, it's Caroline's a weekend of comedy, man. A nice club, though. I'm playing some yeah. shit box, probably. <laughs> 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 nice plug. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> I'm you. sure the fine people at the comedy shop appreciates Oops. that. There. Well, so can I, can I play? My, my DVD comes out on October the 13th as well. Ooh. Jim Jeffries' uh, nice. DVD. We're going to finish up with these guys in just a few. Opie, Anthony, Jim Jeffries, Otto from Otto and George on a Welcome Friday, a John miserable Zemba Friday show. here in New York City. Uh, Mark in Jersey, what do you got, Mark? Hey, guys, how are you? Hey, Mac. Pretty the good, Mark. The Pentagon's just been hit. Uh, uh, is that what they're doing I just wanted to call up and tell you guys uh, eight years later, um, the day that the attacks happened, I was listening to your show, as I always do. And, uh, Opie, I just want to thank you for one thing you did. I don't know if you recall. Maybe one day you can replay the tape. But you played a song by Metallica that basically pumped up, I'll call, the spirits of the rockers. That was called Don't Tread On Me, which is one of my favorite songs by them. Hmm. And I just want to thank you for that because everybody, of course, was all fucked up that day. And you really brought spirits up as far as I'm concerned. I'm a... Former Navy SEAL, you know, did the military thing thermite and everything. Paint. And, uh, definitely Sorry. no, there was no thermite paint used that day. <laughs> no. um, he's so full of shit, his fucking eyes are brown. It's, it really but, is an insult uh, to a lot of people when he comes up with really, that shit. I've been listening to you guys right. for a long, long time, and I just wanted to thank you for that. No worries, bro. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. Okay, have a great day. You know, we'll end our show with Don't Tread on Me today there, Danny. How about that? That is a good one. That's not going to be... A problem. That is good. Yeah, we're distracted because they're doing in uh, real time. I hate when they do the real time thing because uh, you know. Eh. Right, uh, just, uh, if you if you rewind it, the buildings go back up. Yeah, so. boy. Unfortunately, how about a little compassion? Before oh. we leave? <laughs> how about just a little just bit? Just a tad. Yeah. You know, just a tad. Just an ounce of. Yeah, that. Look at that. Say, Jesus. That's just, not a control. Look, the the. It just, I'm just glad that John Devil wasn't hate alive to see this. Theorists. Yeah, they, they should end that list with Pete Best too, you know. Just he, <laughs> Holy so shit! Yeah. <laughs> and and Pete, Pete Best. Best. Oh my Pete God. Best. Yeah. That is classic. He, <laughs> he, no one has gotten fucked harder than Pete Best Pete over the years. Best. So at least throw him on Jump. the list of names, yeah. so They're so like, his name is read every year. Yeah. He does a little tour every now and again. Pete below. Best. Who did we have in it? Bob yeah. Smith. Did we have Pete Best in? We had Pete did. Best. Did you have Pete Best? <laughs> did we have Pete Best in at NAW? Uh, the listeners know more than us, and we did these shows. You, you so had they the could original us. drummer for the Beatles, and you can't freaking remember. We, <laughs> it was either him or another guy that got fucked. There was a few yeah. guys that got fucked with that whole Beatles thing. Wow. Well, you know, fucking, you know one of the things that... Australian faggot. Yep. Bally bombing, yep. bally bombing. Fuck you, yep. you Australian fag. Yep. 
That's yeah. what you get, Jim. Oh, I mean, what, man. What have I done wrong? Oh, man. Are they turning on what you? What about the John Denver thing? It's a happy childhood <laughs> memory. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. I have, I, I, of course I have compassion for everything that happened in 9-11. I, what, what, what the fuck? Yeah, you came oh. in here and started talking about the metric system. Yeah. <laughs> we got bigger things to talk about today. Fuck you, you Aussie <laughs> fucking cunt. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> they're, they're going Bali bombing. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah, and it's pronounced Bali. Like, that's Bali. fucking ridiculous. <laughs> oh, Pete Best. This poor There he is. Sap. Look at him. Pete, how, Pete, Pete Best. how much money do you think he makes a year as, as you know the remaining <laughs> Beatles and their wives and their oh. and their kids make just millions and millions every fucking well, year? What really McCartan, fucked him was he wouldn't change his hair, dude. The rest of them all yeah, got mopped yeah. up. So he was he better sort of looking went... than any of them. McCartney wanted to be the cute one. But then John <laughs> Lennon said that uh, Pete Best was a great drummer, but Ringo was a great Beatle. So... That, that was oh really? Yeah, that's what he meant. That John Lennon character. said that favorite um, that 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 famous quote where they went is uh, Ringo Starr the best rock drummer in the world, and he went Ringo Starr's not the best drummer in the Beatles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he actually said that. Yeah. He actually <laughs> said it. <laughs> he was McCartney's a really good drummer. Wow. I don't think I don't think there's going to be a Pete Best. Uh, Rock band? No, I don't think they're gonna have like did guitar hero. He, he comes wait, wait, a little too. Is I, I do little theaters sometimes where I see posters. He comes out in the did, sixty show. I meant the you know game. Yeah, the Beatles. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, the Beatles right. rock band just came out two days ago. You think they threw him a bone you think at least? Pete no, got no, a couple of bucks. Well, well fucking throw him in there so he could get a few bucks. He might, he, might his be, bills. he might be in those early bits of the game in the cavern or that. But you have the Pete Best rock band where it's like the, That's you play one song and then you bake bread for the rest of it, and the drum breaks and you can't play it anymore. And look at Pete Best today. He's still out. There just trying to make a living. He's touring with a Frank Sinatra Jr. in person. <laughs> oh shit! He's, he's That's still, Pete Best. He's still yeah. just trying to make it. He's uh, Poor he looks like he could be in one of Joe's bands. Oh look at him! I'm oh, Pete my Best. Oh God! Look at me. I played with the Beatles before they were. And what is it? Oh, it, look, it, at oh look at him! Poor look guy. At him. He doesn't sympathize about 9/11 at all. He's yeah, I know. He's all there happy. That's, oh, all right. that's a great line. How did he though. not kill himself? I know. He, really? Jesus. Watching him on the Ed Sullivan show. That ride, watching that everything. That, ride just that watching the whole on. thing. Oh, my God. Oh. He did all the shit gigs right up to the <laughs> second he made it. <laughs> yeah. it, 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 was, it was Epstein who kicked him out. It wasn't yeah. the other guys. Epstein just didn't think he gelled right. Yeah. You know, we did have people. It, it, it would show. make you a bit homophobic, wouldn't it? Damn, wow. that's yeah, a little bit. <laughs> like, a little bit. Fuck that guy. Like, that fag. <laughs> what he did to me. He what, just wanted know. me. What, yeah. did we, what did we say to Pete Best? We, I guarantee we were. Oh, dicks we did have a line. It was one really kind of like, <laughs> oh, ooh, douchey. Chill. Maybe some of the old school listeners could pull up remember. and let us know. Uh, Jeff, what do you got? Hello. Yes, I was at this shitty dive bar in Roanoke where I live, and Pete Best played uh, an act there, and the opening act was a band that we had hired for a party that we threw about two months before, and he was yelling, Roanoke, Roanoke, Roanoke. It was a disaster. I bet he made 50 bucks that night. Oh, God. Yeah, but just the interviewing circuit and stuff, like, yeah. you're going on tonight shows and stuff. I, I think if you put it out there, he could still get on Letterman if um, he was on our show. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. And you don't, you don't pay, do you? I've never had a no, cent. And, no. <laughs> and, and this was 10 years ago before we were really doing anything of significance. Yeah. Yeah. He was a baker, yeah. wasn't he, for a long time? He, he, he became a, you know, it's early, it's early. <laughs> just add him to the list of names. <laughs> Oh, That's that old joke. There are rumors that Brian Epstein slept with John Lennon, but we know the fact is he fucked Pete Best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ah, Steve from Bayshore, thank you for that one. Yeah, right on. Let's go to uh, Footer. Footer? Goody. We get it. Um, <laughs> What's up, Footer? <laughs> Just wanted to um, say, yeah, Jim Jeffries, uh, I'm a big fan. But um, I just tuned in, and it's very clear to me that you uh, you just hate America. So oh, I don't hate him. Oh. oh, and he said good luck at Caroline. Otto, oh, oh, <laughs> Otto just went, Otto just went, we should put Pete Best on the dead list. If your relative was on the dead list, you'd be going, well, that's not the same. <laughs> no. Being kicked out of the drummer isn't the same as dying. But no one gets See, into Otto. You no. don't get, no, you don't get it because that's Wait goofing on Pete Best. Who, whose team, uh, who's, <laughs> Whose family got more fucked in that, though? What? Pete Best. You know, he was a moneymaker if he stayed in the field. Oh, true. <laughs> oh, my God. Opie, you're, you're, you're disgusting me. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, that's <laughs> just, just, just appalling what you've... Look, look there's... 
darkness you're among Eddie, us today, so I'm just trying human. to lighten it. Not just Americans. It's, uh, this is a did the guy, ner- did nervous Did the guy actually go, good luck laughter. with Carol? Am I going to get lynched tonight? Is there <laughs> no, going to be a real be problem? Right. This is just nervous laughter from, you know, having yeah. to look at uh, the uh, oh! tragedies of uh, the uh, day. Yes. Uh, yeah. Before we move on from Pete Best, yes, thank you, Mark. I'll let Mark say Got the line? Yes, and it was Kimmy. Kimmy from, from fucking Survivor. Uh, Survivor used to be a friend of ours from one of the first Survivors. She used ah. to do our show all the time. She was in studio getting naked or something. Yes. We were able to get her naked. And uh, she said, uh, uh, go ahead, Mark. You, you take it from there. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Kimmy was in studio, and she said, uh, weren't you happy when John Lennon got shot? <laughs> right. That wow. was it. To Pete Best. <laughs> goes, that yeah. was her question. We're like, Kimmy, you got a question for Pete Best? Yeah. Jesus. Were you happy were you when happy John Lennon got shot? And what did Lennon Pete Best shot? say? Yes. <laughs> no, he, I have no idea. What did he say? I don't remember the answer. The question did he was, laugh? The <clears throat> question was too fucking much. Yeah. I know I turned my head away. <laughs> I couldn't look. Uncomfortable moment. <laughs> yeah, it really was. <laughs> Dumb cunt. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, it's terrible. I wonder if she's still around. watch this. Hey, this I don't know why girl. I keep watching. I thought, she, you, I thought you said she was a friend. No, she used to. Like, uh, years ago. We had plenty of friends that were on like there. This. Friends but, friends with quotations. And then years go by and you're like, oh, remember how fucking good friends they were on the air for us and everything? And then they just go away. What happened to your friend that used to call in? The guy was really sick all the time. Is he, is he around still? Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember that? We had a call every Friday. Tom. The guy with Tom. the, yeah, when he fired the gun once yeah. on the air. And it was yeah. his Tom Is he dead. still okay? He called our show. Yeah, I think, yeah. I don't know. Maybe if he's around, he could yeah. call right uh, Jim Jeffries, this guy terminal disease and uh, one day he calls up with a gun in his hand and he was ready to do it live he was ready to show. do it yeah. no. and then we kind of talked about it well we did talk about it or Anthony yeah. and then the gun went off by accident yeah I remember that and then day. the police had to get involved and they took him away did, for a while I would, uh, did, he was speaking after he had the shot he didn't just make he actually think. said something like uh, oops or oh, uh, I didn't mean it I don't know it was something yeah, yeah but, but he acknowledged that was, it was because he said once the d- disease gets bad enough where he really can't live any kind of life he's just going to end it so he called up and was like, it's really bad. I can't move. I was a- do, you, do you know they did this thing in, in uh, I think it was, in, it, it, euthanasia is legal in Holland. Because the Dutch are, you know, they're, they're go-ahead people. They're cool with yeah. anything. But there's also, there was this idea that these people had for, they get a cruise ship, take it out to international waters and mm. perform all the euthanasias out there. Ah, hmm, right, because there's there's no there's no laws, but that's like if you ever been on a cruise ship where everyone throws streamers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Would it be the same as that where, where there's all these old women in wheelchairs and old men? Like, bon and voyage. Then, yeah. Yeah. Just wave goodbye to grandma. Wave goodbye. She's bon off. On a, she's off on a little holiday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to go out. Yeah. Thinking you got a nice uh, cruise. But like you might, idea. you might be sitting on the boat, going, "Geez, it's fucking, it's nice out here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I've got something to live for." Uh, we got Al. Uh, nice. Al Qaeda. <laughs> Al Qaeda. Al Qaeda. Yeah. Al, Al, Al first name Qaeda last name Al. Hey, hello, I'm Jim Jeffries. We love you over here. We've- oh, 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 damn, man. If I'm so anti-America, why do I go out and entertain American troops in Iraq and Afghanistan? Sure. And take uh, Put my life money? in danger yeah. for, uh, for free, you, right? Big fat club. <laughs> Bye-bye. Hmm. Oh boy! Oh. I can't believe that I, I've oh, been made no. into a terrorist on this show. I, you what, really have. What did I say that was so bad? Name me one thing that I said that was so bad. If anyone can remember, play it in reverse and I the would. building stand back up. I, oh yeah, was that bad? Yeah, <laughs> and, and I, I was just a bad joke. And I wouldn't repeat it. <laughs> I'll, I'll I wouldn't repeat it, the rest of it. No way. Uh, Carolyn, what's up? <laughs> hey, I'm just calling about some news I saw on live with CNN. What? Mm-hmm. Uh, breaking news: Boat challenged Coast Guards. They shot ten rounds at the boat. Where? It's on the Pato- on the Potomac River. What just then? What but kind of fucking boat is going? What is it? Somali pirates on the Potomac? It's a, they say it's a vessel. That's all they're saying right vessel. now. It's in the restricted my zone, charter. and they're ignoring the Coast Guard. Oh, well, really? Poly- Let's go to CNN and check that shit out. CNN. Why is everything else still playing the fucking? Uh, yeah, yeah. If we got I, if we got real breaking news, yeah. they should. Um, yeah. Move. I'm not going to make jokes about it. It'll make me anti-American. Thank yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck with the Coast Guard. Is that true? Do we know I that? No. Titty Mountain Highway. I think she's full of shite. Let's see. Did Let we do see. everything else? We talked about the South African runner. You hear this story? Coast Guard uh, tries to keep boat out of what, area what, near what, Pentagon. Don't, don't tell me. Was she racist? Yes. No. Do you, you, you don't know the story? No, I've heard she was, she's a man or something. Well, she's both. But she doesn't have ovaries or a womb, and her testes are inside. On the inside. Her well, man. you can't get into it for that. That doesn't make you an athlete. What are they supposed to do with her? Who is she supposed to run against? 
Has she got long hair? Her mistake, like we said earlier, she has like male abs. She got tits? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, can't not really. Tell. They're, they're pecs. What was she born as then? Uh, hermaphrodite. Oh, has hermaphrodite. No, born no, like, okay. no womb, no ovaries, and has uh, testicles that are inside. She's like a frog. Yeah, it's <sighs> fucked up. If um, if she went to a party, would she wear a dress? Oh, good question. We we just said all it would take is a smell. You smell. You just yeah. smell and know it smells like balls, even could, though they're on could the a, inside. Could a man <laughs> fuck her? Uh, hmm. Is there a hole there? Should be a vag. Yeah, but yeah. she's got three times the amount of testosterone of <laughs> a, a normal women. What the fuck is Look that? Look at that about? thing. Uh, wow, Anthony, that is a fucking. Anthony, I'm sorry. One of uh, Jim Jeffries' relatives is calling oh, the show. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, for real. What? Fuck off. For real. <laughs> oh, let's see who it is. Uh, it's Osama bin Jeffries. Osama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Osama bin Jeffries. You are correct. Now, listen. Why did you change your name? Oh. What are you embarrassed about? Come home. You have training to finish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Oh. 144,000 versions or whatever the fuck it is waiting for you. We uh. take out your belt. <laughs> The little holes in it for the dynamite sticks. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> yeah. the dynamite right. sticks. Implying you're some type of terrorist. I, I, which, which Thank you, Osama was bin Jeffries. Yeah. Osama bin Jeffries. <laughs> Osama bin Jeffries. What the uh, fuck is that? You know, we've always said our listeners are the funniest on radio, but they've stepped up their game this yeah, week. Thank yeah, thank God. I, I don't know what the fuck happened, but man, they got <laughs> even God. funnier. Tom in Chicago. What's up, Tom? Hmm. Uh, it's Tim. What's up, buddy? Hey, Tim. I was wondering when it was Jim Jeffries converted to Al Qaeda. Oh, oh, you you got to turn this thing around, really. I, you got I, shows I, to sell out here, my God friend. God bless America. I love oh, you all. That's good. Da- yeah. Down with. I called them muzzies. Wasn't that enough? That was. That good. was degrading. I'm going to start using that. <laughs> muzzies. I'm going to start using guilties too. <laughs> you got muzzies and packies. Mu- no, I, muzzies isn't a. It's just me and my mate say the word muzzies. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of fun, though. Yeah. That mm. should catch on. Yeah. I, the, the most racist thing I've heard of late. Oh, I'm not gonna, I'll tell you off here. Oh, yeah? No, no it's, it's not really good. bad. No, write it down. <laughs> what, <laughs> what, it what, down. what ethnic we like, group does We like it playing write it down. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's a touchy write it situation. Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's, a, here's a sharp. No, 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 no. I'll tell you afterwards. It's not, it's not, I it, promise it I was just. It was just a new I word that I heard. No, it's a lot of explaining. It's like a diagram, like a big thing. I like the old word. <laughs> the, 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 well, the, the new word's Mondays. Have you heard that? No, no one likes Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> okay, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, inappropriate, Bill. Oh, I'm not. I'm not just. That's just. No, nah, that's good. That's you're, right. you're making points with our audience. They're a bunch of racist fucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get back in and off the muzzies. I think so. you're in. I think it's time for line of the day. What do you line think? Of the, oh, we know get what the line of the of day is. Everyone knows what it is. On a and, shitty and then we get to play Friday? Metallica. Don't tread on me today. Nice and loud for everybody. I like it. Because we did that uh, eight years ago today. Oh, Larry like, King's. I'd like to say sorry to the people of America. All hmm. right, let's do our uh, first runner-up line of the day. Yes. One night had to happen. Ricky just fucking grabbed it. Rrr. Grabbed a big, giant red pussy. You know, it was just a giant bush. Red too. bush. Red bush. A big clown fucking bush. Those bushes. Clown hair bush. Her big fucking red bush, right? Mm-hmm. And then his coarse black Cuban hair just banging together like that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the Cuban you, Missile Crisis. Yeah, that was like <laughs> uh, the Cuban <laughs> Missile Crisis. His unclipped missile. That's a, whole, that's, a, that's a paragraph. That's again. a paragraph. Paragraph, paragraph of, the of the day. day. Yeah, paragraph of the day. Uh, Dr. Uh, Steve wants to promote his uh, show that's on Saturday night at 9 o'clock, Weird Medicine. He should have. Uh, what is he sleeping? The lazy fuck caller show? He's a doctor for and the love of God. Promote your own goddamn radio show. He's a doctor. You better get his ass on the phone. Hold on a minute, Aunt. Larry King is checking in. Oh, Larry. my God. Yeah, I wanted to ask Jim Jeffries, how important is hating America to your comedy show? <laughs> <laughs> Good question, Larry I King. would have no material without it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Bobby. Bobby. Hey, Bobby. What's up, boys? Hey, Bobby. Hey, hey Jim, what's, uh, what song do you come out to? Uh, Black Eyed Peas, Boom, Boom, Boom? 
<laughs> oh, no, that's just silly. Hey. No, you know, yeah. you're just being mean. No, you know, now you're just. Jim Jeffries will be at stupid, Caroline's actually. tonight, tomorrow, and Sunday, 212 757 4100. I got an early late show, and I'll be getting my head kicked in, in an alleyway. No, <laughs> you know, it's all good. Uh, another runner up line of the day. Uh, the first time I went to Afghanistan, they, they teach you the, the duck and roll. You walk around with your vest on the whole time, and they give you the helmet, and they go, if you hear the siren, Put your put your helmet on and duck and cover. Get under the bed, put your hands above your head, and then that's what you do and hope the ceiling doesn't fall in, Oof. right? Mm-hmm. And so I'm there on the first day, and I'm just playing, like, my uh, my PSP, just playing video games, right? I hear, eh, eh, eh. I fucking, all the soldiers are watching, but I'm like speed man, and I fucking duck, roll, on the helmet. And then I hear, can Steve please come to the office? Can <laughs> Steve? <laughs> oh, shit. <Yeah. laughs> Another, paragraph of the day. Paragraph. I, we all know what line of the day is that's going to win. He only said oh. about two jokes the whole show, but we know what it is. He Otto, fucking nailed Otto it. Otto doesn't need a lot of base hits, my I friend. I know, I know. Oh. He gets up to that plate and he hits him out of the fucking park for my, everybody. My comedy is like it, a scatterbomb. That's when you pull out your fucking <laughs> camera. <laughs> I just Wait. throw it out there and hope that something will hit. I got, <laughs> I got something for Anthony. I know Sirius XM is trying to turn around the, the company a little bit. Yeah. But do we really have to, like, make up some money by uh, doing Japanese tours today? Yeah, it look, does look like um, like we're at Radio City or something. Our boss is uh, showing a bunch of... Uh, it's like NBC a Studios A bunch of tour. those people. Yeah. <laughs> Around the facility. They're called, they're called Pearl Harbors. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Let me say hi to Matt in Queensbury. Matt? Hey, hey guys. Yeah, I got, I got a knock-knock joke for Jim Jeffries. Okay. Hey, uh, right. Jim, knock-knock. <laughs> Who's there? 9-11. 9-11 who? I thought See you said you wouldn't. See that fucking He already forgot that. Comment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You oh, fucking damn. forgot. You said you, you wouldn't America. forget. Yeah, yes. that's yes. wonderful. Yeah. Said you You're not forget. supposed to forget. Never yeah. forget. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, time for the line of the day, I think. Here, here, here comes the line of the day. Line of the day. Line of the day. Just, I'm just glad that John Denver wasn't alive to see this. Yeah. They, they should end that list with Pete Best, too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy so shit. Yeah. <laughs> that was a sl- Titty Mountain Highway! <laughs> oh, great. That was Fucking a slow burner, that line. You yeah, gave it it took us a while to get it. We were like, Otto. it was that good a line that we were like, <laughs> right the fuck on, Otto. I'm a wet fuse. Otto's going to be at the comedy shop with uh, Reverend Bob Levy tomorrow, uh, tonight and tomorrow. Sorry, Pinebrook, New Jersey. Uh, JJComedy.com or call 866-552-6633, extension 1. you got a lot of comedy this weekend, people. Yes. Figure it out. What night do you see Jim and what night do you see Otto? That's My all DVD you have to worry about. My DVD comes out the uh, 13th of October. Uh, 10% of all proceeds go to Al-Qaeda. Just <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me say hi to Matt on Long Island. Matt. Matt. Oh, uh, what happened here? Let's try that again. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. Matt. Hey, Jim, do you burn a flag during the early show or the late show tonight? Oh. When does the uh, American flag burning I, take I place? I wipe my ass with it in the first show. <laughs> burn it in the second. Mike in Jersey. Mike? Hey, Jim, you traitor. When are you going to yell out Baba Booey? <laughs> I don't even remember saying anything bad. I can't remember exactly what I did. Right. Yeah, listen to the replay. Yeah, <laughs> you'll hear it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home and listen to the show again. Yeah, just listen to it and go. Oh, I remember saying that. Anthony oh, Bulletin: Coast Guard incident in DC was a drill, supposedly. Getting that news coming in. See, just stop. All right, Otto. Uh, good to oh, see you, th- buddy. Thanks, brother. Uh, Jim, great. good to see you. I'll be Thank at one you. of the shows this weekend. I don't miss Jim Jeffries. Cool. And I wish you were closer. Maybe I go to the comedy shop. Maybe I take a ride. How far from the city? <laughs> uh, forty-five to an hour, I think. It's a schlep, but have fun this weekend, Otto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little Thank far. You. you know, I love you, but I know, I know. <laughs> if it was ten minutes, I hear that. <laughs> Why don't we play Don't Tread on Me? We did this eight years ago, and that, yeah. guy, that guy with that fine phone call reminded us of that. So we'll crank this out uh, for everybody to start their weekend, and we'll see you guys Monday. Thanks. Thank Later. you.